Welcome back, everybody. Joe Everest, the fence expert. Hey, one of the most common pieces of feedback we get about the Saturday morning live Ask the Experts segment is those things are long, and they're not wrong. They last about three hours, two and a half to three hours. Sometimes, a few weeks ago, Caleb and I got into a pretty good discussion about marketing. I think it lasted closer to four hours. Nobody's got time to sit through four hours of listening to a couple experts talk. I get it. So Jeremy's created a new segment just for you guys called Hot Takes. It's usually a shorter segment of the longer conversation, basically hitting the hot topics, if you will, of that live segment. So without further ado, here comes this week's Hot Take. James says dry... James is going to start the conversation. Dry setting for 20 years here in Florida. No frost line, 74% humidity, and really moist soil. So wet setting is unnecessary and inefficient for us. I like that James said for us at the end of that, right? So in, in his area, in his region and climate, it works no problem. Here in the Midwest, have we been known to dry set? Yeah, depending on the situation. And... Has it rained for the last three weeks? We had a really wet spring. So has it rained for the last three weeks? Is this ground saturated? Yep. I think we could dry set this thing and compact it because I saw this guy, Sean, do it. And and it works, right? It will just absolutely wick the moisture out of the ground into that concrete if the soil has moisture to give. So Mark Olson did, uh, did a test on, it was either the SWI, so he's got two YouTube pages or several YouTube pages, SWI fence and then uh, the successful contractor. I want to say it was SWI though. He did a comparison where he wet set a post, dry set a post, and then he used foam on a post. Let them set for like a month, pulled them up just to see what was there. Not much difference between the dry set and the wet set. Now, so he took a he took a sledgehammer to it. The dry set did crack before the wet set. His point being though, the PSI required to crack this thing was probably greater than the force that a fence would be, would be putting on it. So if we're talking about would one post fail before the other one in a normal course of events with a fence, probably not. It's interesting to see. You guys should go watch it. SWI fence, uh, It's this was probably four or five months ago. You'll have to go back in the archives a little bit. But again, James, I appreciate you sharing it. And like I said, understanding that it works for you. It's worked for you for 20 years. So in your case, by all means, that's the one. But we need to start talking the way James talked, right? So this is the way it works. It's worked for us. Here are the situations, the no frost line, 74% humidity, real moist soil. And these conditions works like a charm. And he says, for us, right? It, wet setting is unnecessary and inefficient for us. In our area, wet setting is more of a thing. So take that for what it's worth. We also typically go through droughts. Now, Knock on some wood, no drought conditions this summer. Maybe maybe things are changing. All right, guys, that concludes this week's hot take. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Do you like the format? Do you not like the format? Let me know in the comments below. We're still figuring this out, and we could use your help. But for now, I'm Joe Everest, the fence expert, reminding you that good fences make good neighbors. And I'll see you next time.